Dear Journal, it's been 10 months, 6 weeks, 40 days, 12 hours, and 47 seconds since my last journal entry. My therapist seems to think that by writing down my feelings or my angry thoughts will help me to manage my anger issues a little bit better. I must say, sometimes it helps. But then there are other times when I think back and it just makes me even more angry. I notice myself changing every day and I know these things that have happened to me aren't necessarily my fault, but I've just been so angry lately. I'm angry at everything, the world, the turn that my life has taken, and now I'm sacked with this crazy roommate who thinks she's helping me. Her and her creepy cousin I've never met and she keeps trying to force him on me. Really, Journal, I don't know what I'm going to do, but just go on another day and keep making these journal entries until at last I can get out of here and start my life all over. I don't know. Maybe it's for the best. But anyway, I'm here and I'm ready to move forward. like my surprise, didn't you? <laughs> oh, what's wrong with you, Danielle? Oh my God, you scared the bejesus out of me. I was just trying to surprise you. I think I did a great job. Look at the smile on your face. Oh, this is not a smile. My teeth just look like this. Oh God. Give me a second, okay? Just give me a second to breathe. Ha! I even took your breath away. Ha ha! I did my job and I made you happy. My cousin Shades wants to make sure that you are getting everything that you need while you're here. And he also wants you to know that he is taking care of everything so you can get out at the same time, the same time that I do. Isn't that great? We can be roomies on the outside. Oh, and by the way, he's going to come visit you today. He's coming back after he has his lunch and he is going to meet you at the visitor center. He also wanted me to give you this neat new cell phone so you guys can be all ooey gooey lovey dovey. <laughs> Listen, Danielle, I really do appreciate you and your cousin, what's his name, Shades, uh, trying to help me in things. But, you know, there's a couple of things that you guys need to understand. I know I broke the law and I know that I have to serve my time and I would like to do it in peace. So tell your cousin Shades or whatever his name is that I appreciate everything that he's doing for me, but that he doesn't have to do it. I don't think he needs to do it. I am ready, you know, I'm already living the life here. I've been here a while, okay? So I'm just going to finish my sentence out in peace, okay? Thank you for the phone, but, you know, I'm not interested, and I, I really don't want a boyfriend right now, okay? But, Maddie, you don't want him to be sad, do you? If he doesn't see you or meet you this one time, he's going to be sad forever, and you don't want that, do you? And besides, he gave you this really neat phone and, you know, you could at least talk to him. And if Cousin Shades gets sad, I would be sad. You don't want me to be sad, Maddie, do you? Being sad is bad. And sometimes it makes me mad. You don't want me to get mad, do you? Maddie. No, no, no. We don't want anyone to be sad now. Uh, don't worry. Just You just tell your cousin Shades that I'll be out in a minute, all right? Uh, let me just, uh, you know, get freshened up, I guess. Oh, that's great news. You're going to love him, I promise. He's such a great guy, and he takes care of all his girlfriends. But He's going to really take good care of you because he really likes you, Maddie. Ah, true love. It's a great thing. <laughs> ah. 
Yeah, it's a great thing, all right. Yeah, well, I better get going. La, 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 la. Yay! Oh, this is going to be so great. So, I guess you're shades, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm shades. Uh, wow, you just look so beautiful. I just, I'm a little bit beside myself here because I just didn't think I would ever meet you. And uh, wow, I mean, that's all I can say is, you know, wow. Okay, um, listen, um, shades. I, I think there's been a, a little bit of a misunderstanding here. Um, apparently, Danielle seems to think that we're some kind of love interest or that there is some kind of uh, interest here where there really isn't. And um, I just want to clarify things. Yeah, yeah, my, my cousin Danielle, she, she's a little bit of a piece of work, but uh, there is definitely a love interest. You know, I, I, I am interested in you. I, I've been interested in you since the first time I laid eyes on you to be honest but uh, yeah we can we can talk about things if you want um, first I want to tell you that you know I got everything under control you know I, I, I'm looking into your case for you and, and so you can uh, you can get out pretty soon uh, sorry I'm stumbling <laughs> I'm stumbling over my words that never happened Oh, oh, don't worry about, don't worry about um, anything, Shades. Um, listen, I just want to make something very clear, okay? Um, because I'm in this situation, I'm really not interested in having any kind of romantic relationships, and I'm really sorry that you got the wrong impression from Danielle. Um, I, I just, I'm not in the right frame of mind, and frankly, I just, I, I don't want to speak with anyone while I'm in here. I just want to do my time in peace and forget this whole thing ever happened so that when I get out of here, I can pick up my life from where I left off somehow. I can just get my life together and, and pick up the pieces of what used to be my life, if you can understand that, so. Well, I do sure understand how you feel, I mean everything you know i've been watching your videos and they're really really good but uh you know that dennis really did you wrong you know he shouldn't he shouldn't have you know he should have been uh gosh i, I can't believe I, i'm missing up my words here um sorry uh basically what i'm trying to tell you is he was in the wrong he was in the wrong and uh he needs to come back and, and make things right with you, you know, and I mean, you shouldn't be here, lady like you should not be here, this isn't, this was not meant for you, this is not your life, so, you know, I just want to let you know that, you know, I'm on your side, and if you need anything when you get out, I, I'm here, if you need a place to stay, you know, uh, I'm here, you know, just, Danielle knows where I live, and she's coming out in a few months, so, uh, she'll definitely be in touch with you while you're here, she'll come visit, uh, you know she she she's really fond of you. She really is. Uh, but uh, yeah, she she's gonna be able to to help you out when you get out of here and and stuff like that. So uh, you know and and she can always call me if 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 you if any of y'all need any help. You know I'm here for you. Yeah, uh, you know Miss Miss Wyatt, I'm 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 here for you. You know and you know I'm kind of smitten with you. You know and if something happens that's just great. But you know um, if not I totally understand. Uh, I can be your friend. I can be a very good friend. Well, I certainly do appreciate that. Um, but like I said, once I get out of here, I, I need to make a new life for myself. You know, I'm going to have a record. And, you know, I don't know if you're aware, but that Dennis guy, he he's disappeared. He's gone from the face of the earth somehow. I don't know where he's hiding or what hole he's crawled into. But my lawyers and my investigators can't seem to find him. So... I'm just going to let it alone and, and just move on because it's just, it's, it's just not worth it. But again, um, thank you so much for your offer of help, but I'll be fine. And then once I get out, uh, I'm sure I'll be able to take care of myself. Being in here has taught me a lot about being self-reliant, so I can do it. And uh, thanks again, but no thanks. And uh, nice meeting you, by the way, but I'm going to have to go.
I have therapy soon, so I guess I'll see you around. All right, then. Y'all take care, and uh, don't forget, if y'all need anything, just, you know, hit me up on that cell phone that I gave you. All right, now. That girl's just so heartbroken. I mean, it's all right if she don't want to be my lady, because I got another lady in mind. But, uh, man, I just, I still need to help her somehow. I know what I could do. I can hit up my, my gang and my friends and see if they can find this guy for me. As a matter of fact, let me give him a call right now. Hey, 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 Paul. Hey, Big Paul, how you doing? Listen, I need you to look someone up for me, all right? Name is uh, Fitzgerald, I think his name is. Yeah, 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 that dude, yeah. That's the one I told you about, remember? Yeah, I need you to do some investigating for me and see if you can't find this jerk. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're going to have a little heart to heart, he and I. Yeah. Okay, look, Danielle, um, thanks for giving me the news and uh, giving me this. Uh, oh, you're in my shot there. You're, you're, yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. I really do appreciate you, um, ba ba ba. This is not. Ah, hold on. What the crap? Oh no, I didn't pause it. Okay, well let's just take it again. <laughs>